What's up, everybody? So, you know what? The Grammy nominations came out. Getting lots of texts, getting lots of tweets about it. I'm seeing a lot of the girls are fuming. You know what's really interesting is that we all thought, I felt like today was going to be fight day, you know, fight club, where all the girls are fighting on Twitter. All the stand bases are attack coming at each other's necks because of nominations or not nominations. But it seems like everybody's just pissed together instead everyone's in it together because nobody was nominated everybody was shut out that seems to be what the tea is but i didn't actually get to see the nominations themselves so i'm gonna look i got it right here on my phone and we're gonna we're gonna scroll through and we're gonna see i'm gonna give my opinions on what what i think like should have should these people be nominated who shouldn't have been who should be etc cetera, etc cetera. and we're also gonna predict who the fuck should win you know what i mean so let's go okay record of the year i'm saying i like it cardi b Okay, now, first of all, before we even go, like, I feel like that is not record of the year. Like, why is that even in the nominations? That's a party anthem, sis, and it was a huge song, but record of the year, like, I, that's, it's, it's a fun party song, but, like, we're gonna really put it on that quality level? Okay. Okay, the joke, Brandy Tri Carly? Okay, next. Do you know, that's some Grammy mess where they just throw in those random alternative people. Okay, this is America. Okay, that makes sense. Cute. God's plan, we all knew it was gonna be there, so whatever. Shallow. Okay, now that's shocking to me. Lady Gaga in the record of the year for Shallow. Shallow's a good song, though, so I'm not gonna get twisted, but I am very shocked that they put her in there. I didn't even know that she could be nominated for that. Didn't that just come out, like, a month ago? I thought, the, like, you could only go off before August, so I don't get it. Okay, whatever. All the stars, cute. Rock star, whatever. The middle. Oh, hell no to the middle. Are you kidding me okay the middle and i like it by cardi b those two gotta go in my opinion because yeah they were big hits but like they are just especially the middle like that one is so fucking basic bitch are you fucking kidding me you're now i see i see why the ariana fans are pissed because i'm sorry god is a woman no tears left to cry is better than the middle and i like it right and they were and they were huge especially no tears left to cry was really big so i don't get it that's fucking stupid this is dumb but overall, you know what? We're gonna give we're gonna give them a little a little pass because this is not that bad. Who should win? Childish Gambino, in my opinion. This is America. That is who should win and who I think is going to win. Or maybe Kendrick Kendrick Lamar might, might win, but we'll see. It's in, in between those two, definitely. Overall, I feel like those options are cute. Like I'm not mad at them. Like I feel like they did a good job with that. I'm just like kind of pissed about the Ariana not being in there. I do think that she deserved a spot in there, definitely, a thousand percent. Album of the Year, Invasion of Privacy, Cardi B. Now, see, this is the, the bullshit that I'm talking about. Invasion of Privacy should not be an Album of the Year, in my opinion. Like, it was a good album, and I think they're just going for, like, it was huge. Like, it was very big, the singles were all huge, and it really, you know, brand new artist, debut album, huge, whatever. But, like, quality-wise, and I can see why the Nicki stands are pissed, because I'm almost a thousand percent sure Pink Friday um, was not. Like, when she came out with her first album, that was not nominated for Album of the Year. None of her albums were nominated Album of the Year, and I think most of her albums are better than Cardi's. I'm so sorry, but we have to call a spade a spade, bitch. What the fuck? Are we kidding me? Okay, that's stupid. Okay, here we go with Brandy again, whatever. Scorpion Drake, makes sense. Post Malone, okay, fine. H.E.R., I don't know who that is. Janelle Monae, Dirty Computer, that, that's the T. That should definitely be in there. Because that album was fucking amazing. If you didn't hear it, you need to hear it. R&B gorgeous it's like r&b it's innovative it's forward thinking a whole theme a whole concept amazing golden hour casey musgrave what is that country okay black panther okay lit cool okay so again i'm not like angry about these options because i feel like the like they all belong there but i am ex extremely shocked that taylor swift is not in here and now there's ariana they really they jipped the pop girls this year. What the fuck is this? And you know that on this channel, we love the pop girls. So I don't know what the fuck is going on. But this is kind of some bullshit. Take out Cardi B. I'm sorry. She's got to go. Take that out of album of the year and put Sweetener. And I feel like I'm really, really shocked that Reputation is nowhere to be found so far. Girl, how do we feel? And who do we think is going to win? Let me look at this. I think Janelle Monet should win. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. That's who should win this. Because it's different enough like for the grammy to be like yeah it's alternative and cool and like different but you know she's also kind of mainstream in a way like in a really tiny way where a lot of like people know her you know what i mean i feel like that would be a good option the rest of these bitches no drake no hell no post malone was actually good but like come on like there's a lot of rap going on here we need to 
The thing is here, I'm seeing, first of all, there's like eight nominations. What the fuck is this? You're going to give me eight nominations and not one pop girl when Ariana literally slayed that entire year. So it just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. Make it make sense a little bit. Okay, song of the year. All the stars again. Okay. Boot up. Bitch, boot up is a jam. But they're going to put boot up in here and they're not going to put Ariana. <laughs> Girl, they scammed her. Boot Up is such a good song, but like you would have thought that that would have been in the R&B like song of the years, right? Like they're putting her in the major leagues. I mean, I love it. Like, don't get me wrong, but I'm like kind of shocked. God's Plan, bitch. You know, God's Plan ain't even that good. It was a huge song, but like, is that song really that good? Absolutely not. We just keep giving Drake all these, these fucking awards because he keeps breaking these records, but... Is the quality really there? God's plan is like not that t is not the tea for me. Like what the fuck? Whatever. In my blood. In my fucking blood, Sean Mendez. Are you kidding me? That song is so generic. Like it's good, but we're gonna put that in song of the year. This generic little guitar song, and I love Sean Mendez. But come on, In My Blood. If you're gonna pick a Shawn Mendes song, let's do Lost in Japan because that song is so fucking good, giving you Michael Jackson influence. But In My Blood is just his typical strumming on the guitar and giving you the same melody, the same theme. Like, bitch, we've heard the Shawn Mendes song a hundred times over. Stitches, Mercy. Like, I, I can't even, I can't even, like, differentiate between his songs because each song sounds exactly the same. So I don't wanna fucking hear it. I cannot believe they have In My Blood in there and they don't have Ariana. Like, they're really playing. Or Taylor Swift, you couldn't have put like Delicate, you know what I mean? That was like a really good song. I'm just like, you know what? The thing is with Taylor, I feel like Rep uh, Reputation was such a good album. It really was, I don't wanna hear it from anybody. And people are really like paying it dust, I feel like, you know what I mean? Although it was the best selling album of the year, so bitch, suck it. But you're not gonna put, give her any awards? Okay, the joke, Brandy again, Good girl, get the fuck out of here. The middle. You know what? The middle, the middle in my blood and boot up for song of the year at the Grammys. But you're not gonna put no tears after crying. You're not gonna put God as a woman. I mean, like what? Where? <laughs> Girl, why do we even watch the Grammys anymore? Why do we watch the Grammys? Okay, sh shallow Lady Gaga. Okay, again, shocking. I really am surprised about that, but I'm happy about it. And this is America. Okay, great option. Okay. Overall, again, I feel like because they have so many nominees, it's like they can't really go wrong too much. It's like overall, it's like, okay, you got it right. I feel like the Grammys kind of got it right here and there. Like, a lot of these are good options, but a few of these got to go. They got to go. Can we just make sense? Okay, best new artist. Chloe, Halle. That's the Beyonce girls, right? I don't know anything about them, but I do know that they're pretty cute, so that's cool. Luke Combs, Greta Van Fleet. Like, who... Uh, H E R. I don't know who these people are. Dua Lipa, okay. Margot Price, BB Rexa, bitch. Georgia Smith, okay. Or Georgia Smith, okay. What we're gonna say is the person who should win here is BB Rexa. Like, let's just be really real. I know she's so fucking annoying. I know her personality is, is not the tea. Nobody wants it. I mean, nobody wants her around. You know, she's just she's a be like if you ever watch her interviews, girl, she is just like a personality that is not the tea at all and someone <laughs> one of my friends told me that they went to see her in concert and she was yelling at the girls she was like she was like stand the fuck up and shut the fuck up like because everyone was like cheering and she wanted to do like a personal song and they were like you know they were like talk they were like cheering and stuff and she was like y'all better shut the fuck up because i'm trying to sing my personal ass song like who does that who said that okay so who should win is bb and who's gonna win honestly it's gonna be in between dua lipa bb and Georgia girl. That's what I feel. Best new artist options were cute. I don't, I don't think you need eight nominees though for best new artist. That's a little fucking crazy. Okay, let's see what's going on in the pop field. I'm seeing Camila Cabello. Okay, God is a woman. Fi Wait. <laughs> Joanne? Wait, what's going on? Why is Joanne in here? And why does it say in parentheses, where do you think you're going? for best pop solo performance. You know what? What's going on all of a sudden? Gaga's giving, getting all the awards, which I don't mind, and I love that song, by the way, but what the fuck? Where did that come from? <laughs> and you know they're gonna give it to Gaga, too, by the way. Ariana's not winning Grammy. No, they're not. She's not winning, because they don't give a fuck about her. They threw her in there, but they're not, they're not giving it to her. Okay, best pop duo. Okay, Christina Aguilera's in there. I'm seeing Backstreet Boys. Like, okay, these are cute. 
I'm really shocked that Christina got a nominee. Phew. Okay, I'm just scrolling down. Okay, Sweet Inner is fine. Okay, Best Pop Vocal Albums are good options. We got Camila, we got Kelly Clarkson, we got Ariana, Shawn Mendes, Pink, Taylor Swift. Okay, you know who should win that? Oh, that's hard, though. That's hard, bitch, because Kelly Clarkson's album was so good. Sweetener was so fucking good, and Reputation was so good. Right? Camila, whatever. Pink's, eh. Sean, eh. So definitely in between those three girls. Kelly, Ariana, Taylor, I feel like. What do you guys think? Because this one's a very important category for me. I'm gonna say... Who's gonna win? I think Ariana's gonna win. I think that, you know what? They might, they might throw her a bone here. They might throw her a bone. But she should... I don't know, that's hard. I can't even pick. I can't pick with that one. Okay, and the rest of the shit... Wait, I just want to go to the rap field real quick. Because I am seeing absolutely... Wait, bitch! <laughs> wait, like I do? Christina? Wait, Christina got two nominations for Liberation. Are we fucking... Did I just say two Liberations or two nominations? For Liberation, Christina Aguilera coming through with Like I Do. That song is fucking amazing. But not Christina Aguilera having a rap nominee, but Nicki Minaj absolutely does not have one. That's, like, really crazy, guys. This is really crazy. Okay, let's talk about this in conclusion. The shutouts... Okay, Nicki being shut out is, like... I feel like they could have thrown her in. I'm seeing, like, a hundred fucking nominees, bitch. You could have thrown her in for Chun-Li, right? Chun-Li was a good one. Was very, you know, going through the social sphere, Twitter. Like, everyone knows that song, I feel like. When you go to the bars, everyone was, like, loving it. It came on. Looks like I'm going for a swim, bitch. I saw that on an Instagram caption everywhere all summer. You know what I mean? I use it a billion times, too. So, get, throw her a bone for Chun-Li, at least. Best rap song. And keep it fucking moving. Why are we playing her like that? That's, like, so fucked up. That's fucked up. And then you're gonna give Cardi, like, a million nominations when her songs are, are good. But, I mean, you know what I mean? They're not amazing, I feel like. And they really played Ariana. They played her. She had such an amazing year, I feel like. How are they not going to give her one? She needed Song of the Year or Record of the Year. At least one nomination in either of those. You know what I mean? Album of the Year, I can see maybe not putting her in. But Song of the Year or Record of the Year, absolutely not. Nikki Girl, you got shut out again. But you know what? I'm just waiting for her meltdown on Queen Radio because that's what we need, bitch. But Christina getting a rap nomination before her is really fucking messy. That's fucking messy. You know what I mean? Maybe Christina will win. I hope she does, because that song is so fucking good. How do you guys feel about this? I feel like, honestly, overall, I'm not even that mad. It's just like a typical Grammys year, I feel like. You got some big hits. You got some weird things that nobody ever heard of. You know, and you call it a goddamn day. It's really not that bad. I think the biggest problems to me is Ariana being shut out of the major categories. And Taylor Swift too, bitch. You know? And I think you could have threw Nicki a bone. At least one song, you know? I mean, her album wasn't amazing. It really wasn't. And her era was really dead on arrival. But throw her one rap song nominee. You know what I mean? That's how I feel. So let me know how you guys feel. And bitch, thanks for watching.